Hello, Classic Rock fans. I am reporting live after seeing the Rich Wrath Project 313 at the Greendale Village Days here in Greendale, Wisconsin. Greendale is a suburb of Milwaukee, very close to where I live, and it's a bit of a uh, local festival, sort of like a church festival that we have around here, but uh, village-related, I guess. The band I saw is called Rich Wrath Project 313, and it is a tribute act to Ario Speedwagon, specifically their original guitar player, Gary Rich Wrath, who passed away, sadly, in 2015. Gary Rich Wrath is on all of the classic Ario Speedwagon hits. He wrote many of them. And unfortunately, at some point... He left the band and never rejoined the lineup, at least not on a permanent basis. He made an appearance with them at least once, it might have been more than that, but after he left the band he uh, attempted a solo career, including uh, this album. This is a surprisingly good album, it's a bit of a lost gem, and the vocalist on this album is a guy named Michael Johns, and Michael now fronts this band, Rich Wrath Project 313. He's been doing so since the early 2000s. So this is a show for REO Speedwagon fans and classic rock radio fans, and it is a great show. It is a genuinely stellar tribute to a very underrated band and also a celebration of an extremely underrated guitar player. REO Speedwagon doesn't get, I think, the respect the band deserves, um, but to an even greater degree, Gary Richrath, the guitar player, does not get the recognition he deserves for being one of classic rock's great guitar players. You know, he's, he's a guy that reminds me of uh, Joe Walsh or Rick Derringer, he's just in that class of classic 70s, early 80s uh, guitar players. So this band is designed to play REO's classic hits, but really call to attention Gary's involvement in that band, which is an admirable task because unfortunately, Gary's old band, REO Speedwagon, they don't really give him a lot of props when you see him in concert nowadays. So, thankfully, we have Michael and this new lineup of Rich Wrath Project 313 to carry on Gary's legacy themselves. And it's not just his legacy. They put out a new album last year. This is called L.A. Is Mine, which is a title of a song Gary wrote back in the 70s. And I learned that although several of these songs are originals by Michael, um, there are guitar recordings and vocal recordings from Gary himself that through the technology of Pro Tools, uh, they were able to get on the record, which I think is incredible. That's just a wonderful tribute to the man. So if you're a fan of REO Speedwagon, if you want to learn more about Gary Richrath, I highly, highly recommend seeing this band in concert. Michael Johns is a great vocalist. He sounds like classic REO. The band plays these songs extremely well, and they do a very full, near two-hour show. So this is an absolute uh, worthwhile band to see if, of course, you like REO Speedwagon or classic rock radio. And if you want to learn more about Gary Richrath, I would suggest looking up their website and doing a little reading about uh, Gary and his collaborations um, with Michael Johns, which started back on this record, 1992. And, you know, Michael and Gary were, were friends, and Michael is carrying Gary's legacy on today. Um, after the show tonight, I met... Uh, Michael Johns briefly uh, had him sign my CDs and uh, spoke with him for a few moments and he said some some nice words about Gary and I'll just spoil it now. Of course I invited him to be a guest on my podcast and I don't know when that will be but he's agreed to come on and he's going to talk more about 
this project he's been doing, um, which is, like I said, a celebration and tribute to Gary Richrath. But it's also a vehicle for his own original material, some of which he wrote with Gary and some of which he wrote on his own. So um, if you're familiar with this project, I would really recommend their new CD from last year. I listened to this uh, online earlier today and I just had to buy a physical copy because it's a very impressive piece of work. And of course, this classic, uh, this lost gem from uh, 1992, Only the Strong Survive. Only the Strong Survive is a very good song. So uh, I gotta say it was very cool seeing the band perform that uh, tonight. Um, because they don't just do REO Speedwagon music, they do a couple of these songs uh, that Gary uh, produced outside of the band and that he wrote with Michael and recorded with Michael. So it's a very cool show. So again, if they come to your town, this is an act that classic rock fans should really appreciate because this is an act that is keeping the music and the memory of someone very important to the music alive. Check them out, learn about this band, get their CDs, and if they come to your town, be sure to check them out because they're doing, frankly, more for the memory of Gary Richrath than uh, his old band, REO Speedwagon, is. And frankly, that's a shame about REO but a very cool and admirable thing for Michael Johns and this band, Rich Wrath Project 313. So yeah, that's all I got. See them if they come to your town. Otherwise, if you're a fan of classic rock, I would recommend you check out the podcast I do, which is about classic rock. Like I said, Michael is hopefully going to be a future guest uh, coming up fairly soon. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this concert review, please subscribe to this YouTube channel check out my other concert reviews. I guarantee I've talked about somebody you're a fan of if you're a classic rock fan. Otherwise, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Those links, along with my podcast link, are in the description below. So with that, thanks for watching, and keep rocking.